Happy New Year, Temecula. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and you got to spend some quality time with your family and friends. I'm Jeff Lawrence, and this is Around and About Temecula, a show designed to help keep our community up to date on everything that we have planned just for you. Now, if this is the first time you're watching the show, welcome. We hope you enjoy it and share the information with your friends and neighbors. Now, I cannot wait to get this month's episode started. We're gonna cover some of the big events that took place over the past few months. You're sure to see some really cool places to see for yourself in 2020. everybody, Councilmember Zach Schwenk here at the grand opening of the Temecula Pump Truck. We are so excited about this park opening. And just look behind me, everybody is pumped. Are you pumped? Because I'm pumped. We are so happy for this new pump truck. Thomas, the Public Works Director for the City of Temecula, and we're here at Riverton Park today to celebrate the grand reopening of our new playground. And this playground is a themed playground. Uh, it's the seventh uh, park playground that we have uh, redone over the last few years. And the new playgrounds all have a theme, so we're trying to make these more fun and exciting for the, the neighborhood kids to utilize. Uh, we're also improving the safety of the playground, so we're upgrading the equipment so it meets all the current standards, upgrading the surfacing of the playgrounds, and of course the new equipment itself. So the theme of this playground here is the cabin in the woods or the clubhouse theme. One of the real unique factors of this playground is, is the height. You can see that it's actually a three-story play structure with stairs and climbing apparatus and large slides for the kids to really enjoy. Hi, I'm Gary Otte. I'm one of the um, community service commissioners. This is my granddaughter, Harper Mae Hermanson. And we're here at Riverton Park today um, with Mrs. Bamber's second grade class as we're trying out all the great new equipment here at Riverton. Harper got to try out the tot lot area today and she loved it. Um, we have new benches, new shade structures, and you really feel like you're out here in the woods. So we want to thank um, Miracle Designs and also um, great thanks to our city council and all of the citizens of Temecula. This is only one of many. So it's an exciting day for us. Um, we hope, hope to have you come down here and try it out. It's pretty amazing. Tracy Frick, Community Services Manager for the City of Temecula, and it's my honor and privilege to manage this beautiful building behind me, the Temecula Valley Museum. Today we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. Did you know we had a museum? And did you know we're 20 years old? 
Well, yes we are, and we're celebrating today. Please join us at the Temecula Valley Museum. We offer tours of Old Town Temecula. We have exhibits on Temecula history, and we have lots of changing exhibits. The exhibits change out about once every eight weeks, and we feature a different topic. Um, and we have a really fun play area for children, so please come and join us at the Temecula Valley Museum. Hi, I'm Fred Lamb, and I've been involved with the board for the last 20 years, and five years prior to that with the original uh, board of directors, headed by Tony Tobin. Uh, this property was given over to the board who exchanged it for this beautiful museum. And uh, the one thing that's never changed is walking through these doors, at least at the moment, where Temecula has taken incredibly different path and has matured into quite a city. So I really enjoyed my time here and I'm still involved with the board and, and interested in the museum and I spend a lot of time here and I'm going to continue to uh, support it as long as I'm able to. For more information, visit TemeculaValleyMuseum.org. Wow, the new pump track at the Ronald Reagan Sports Park is amazing. And the three-story treehouse here at Riverton Park, these are two must-see attractions. But don't take my word for it. Come check them out for yourself. As always, be sure to watch our past episodes and stay up to date on all we do here in Community Services. It's easy. Just follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Temecula Parks and Rec. There is something for everyone to enjoy. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope to see you around and about Temecula.